You already yes, know sir. what it is, it's your boy Jaw. Sincere the rap snob. Lakes of Liguzamo. Jamo, no Shamo. No Shamo. What's fucking with that? Didi, go get him. Shout out to send the beat was laced with the groove. Jaw through the law, been the round table ensued. Lang added them beautifully. Jameis in the booze, you see. Find Dini somewhere in the clouds, usually exclusively. We came together, bringing you these clever endeavors. Classics, we've been doing this since forever. Move the lever and distribute perspectives and contribute to the culture that we love and hold dear. Four cups pulled up and this shit go back for some years. Only difference now, this mic's up in here. Connecting like it's Voltron. Press play and watch us go on. You better get up on this wave like the Coast Guard. The rap round table. I'm so drunk right now. Listen, you already know what it is. Let's do what we do. <laughs> it's been a long, long, long winding road to episode 10 of the illustrious, the glorious rap round table. And yet, here we are. Yes, yes. Word, word. Vibes. New location. True was good. We love you, but we had to take the show on the road. <laughs> True. <laughs> but regardless of the locale, to my left, the rap snob. I'm here. Sincere, what it is, brother? We in the building. Let's go. Adjacent. J Mo no Shamo. Lake to Leguizamo. King of the Lizards. What's good, boy? King of the Lizards. We need a backstory on that one. I'm workshopping. And as always, the balance of the Rat Round Table itself. Dini, what it is. You know the vibes, may the force be with you. You already know what it is. We are tonight's entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find the Rat Round Table on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you can find podcasts. You can find us on Facebook. Instagram, social media, Twitter, we're working on that as well. Wherever you got wherever you want entertainment, you can find the rat round table. Just you know, and, and another thing, guys. We have a, a locked in listener base, right? That's right. That's but I, I, I'm calling them out. They're oh. very selfish. Oh. <laughs> they listen to us and, and they support us, but they keep it for themselves. <laughs> More shares. So listen, if you tune in and you and you on a regular with this, with this show. As soon as before you hit play, hit share. Right Text up. your man's. Do something to let them know that this new episode is out. These brothers are fire, and you need to tune in. Those right shares up. are the key to us taking over the world. Okay. That's a fact. On deck. Sharing is caring. You know what I mean? Same thing we do every day. You already know the vibe, uh, fellas. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Kanye. Yeah. yeah. Jesus yeah. is king. <laughs> um, uh, sincere, we gonna get to you. All right, all right. We gonna get to you. All right. But because you know, woo. I, I'm calling. I'm calling Lang up for yeah. for the one three pick and roll. My small forward over here. Okay. Talk to me. Jesus is king. Takes. You got him. I. I. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it was as bad probably as Sin does. I actually thought it was halfway decent. Um, I thought that the there are two big flaws on this album. One is that. It's it's supposed to be Kanye kind of going out on a limb, right? Except he's not really doing that. Like it's not an album about Jesus. It's an album about Kanye. It's it's I mean it's his ego masquerading as humility. Uh, it's bullshit. Ooh, it's a bullshit album. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I mean it, it sounds okay, but if like if Kirk Franklin put out this same album, we would not be talking about it. We're talking about it because it's Kanye. It's Kanye. It's easy. Um. The other flaw I found was that, I mean, forgive my French, but Kanye is such a fucking asshole oh, man. that you can't enjoy the music anymore. Like, his his bullshit is just overpowering whatever good I could take from this album. You know what I'm saying? This is true. So, I just, enough, man. I, I, I think I've had enough of Kanye. I think I have. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Although it was nice to see clips, uh, see them oh, yeah. together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was Although a high point. I mean, it's kind of bullshit, though, right? Sin, like... They neither one of them really came with it. Nah, I mean, it, it, to no fault of their own, I think they were. I mean, they were giving given a pretty like low energy. Is it isn't malice a, a religious right. rapper That's now? Anyway, thing. no malice. He is. No yeah, malice. No yeah. malice. Yeah. No malice. Yeah. So like he, you know, he Whatever. he found God like <laughs> a long time ago. That's one of the reasons why the clips split. Right. Right. Um. And so it, you know, it kind of makes sense, and it kind of. It, it it almost felt like it was supposed to be an event, mm-hmm. but then you hear the song and you're like, eh, I don't. What? I mean, 
You wanted that Lord willing feel? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you, you, you want, you want, obviously, you want that. Um, whether I expected it, not so much. I didn't know what to really expect from the clips getting back together, especially on a on a religious gospel Kanye album. Right. Um, but it was kind of exciting that like the whole idea of them reuniting. Uh, but then, like you know, again, I hear this song and I'm like, put yo, put, push has been killing everything. Has he not? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's been killing everything. Did he kill the song? He, did, he, he didn't did. really kill this. It was, it was a good verse, but it was a good verse. But I don't, I don't, it, wasn't, I don't, it, it wasn't like anything like something off of like um, Daytona or anything right, like that. No, 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 no way. But it was it was, it it was, was a, a Palmolive pusher, you know? No, yeah. no, 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 no. But you know, it was better than one with, oh, God, I don't want to do it. Do it. The one with Lauren, it was better than that. I, yeah. I agree with that, Dean. You got. You got to, <laughs> I'm just saying. Was it not better than that song? Yeah, it was. How does he it wedge was. Lauren Hill well, back, into back like that. damn near hey, every? Hey, what is your issue? Hey, 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 hold on. Back, back, back to Kanye. No. <laughs> did, did, did you hey, ask hey, Lauren? Did you ask Lauren for an autograph at some point, and she yeah, told you no? Yeah. What is the story here? <laughs> hey, girl, He's in love I with her. Oh please. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but 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 sincere to the album overall. Yeah, talk to me. Um. You know, if I was a weed smoker and uh-huh. this was a CD, I'd probably crumb, oh crumb weed some plate, <laughs> crumb, crumble oh. a, a few herbs on. Come it. on, son. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not a weed smoker, and you know CDs are dead or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, that's how I feel about it. Um, it, it got like two. So- it got two songs. Wow. Um, Follow God is fire. And I'm, I'm a little upset because I know that sample and I have that sample in the stash. Mm-hmm. And I was working with it like a, a, some time back and then I, I just forgot about it. Right. Um, so to hear it, I'm like, oh man, I could, you know, you I got me. At it. Yeah. Um, shout out to my producer heads out there. You know, that's always a, that's always a feeling when you hear some yep. shit that somebody else flipped. Um, so that and then on and then on oh, God. God. That on song God, is legit dope. I love God that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On God is like. That that Kanye, yeah, it got that Kanye feel. You know right. what I mean? That yeah. vibe, that you know what I mean? That that prime Kanye kind of sound. Right. Um, everything else was just a snooze fest, bro. Wow. And, I, and I, now I'll be real, um, you know, and you anybody, to any, dollar sign? no, anybody coming to me talking about, you know, like they they want to preach the gospel to me, spread mm-hmm. the word. Right. Jesus is your savior. Right. I'm already gonna have like an adverse reaction. Your eyebrows to that. are raised already. I'm already like, yo, what you what like I don't need saving bro. I'm I'm good. Wow. So um so for him to like go, and then on top of that, it was like what? A like a year ago. Uh-huh. That he was talking about um You're such a fucking I, mean, <laughs> I love it. Bro He's a multi-dimensional I'm a I like a quick fuck Yeah <laughs> But he. But you know what We we are not without sin So who are you to judge Kanye I'm Sins not, here Listen I'm not I'm sin. not judging I'm just It just feels a little disingenuous Like uh, You don't sin sin Like I, I, I'm not putting out a gospel album I don't got no gospel I'll flip a gospel record But I don't You know Yeah but you know God, God can find you at any moment brother <laughs> that's, that's true man That's true I like the law I tell no, you. I, Like I've seen some that people Kanye's you know, album is good <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some people on Twitter, you know, and, and social media and stuff be like, yo, like, you know, who am I to judge right. his path? Like, that's his path. But it, like like Lang said, it's just at the end of the day, it really is going to be all about Kanye's ego. Right. And if I could, if I may say, you know, there's a lot of bullshit going on. There are kids in cages. You know, there's it's just it's a fucked up moment in this country. Right. And if you're going to. Make a, a this gospel album about Christ. Mm-hmm. I mean, how about actually standing for the things that Christ stood for? Right. You know, like, it, like empowering the poor and you know helping people and that kind of thing. It was all about Kanye and how people judge him. Right. You know, exactly. it was it was him ejaculating and, and making <laughs> wow. like really like it was that. Okay, so here's my and it question. Didn't sound bad, Come on, that's what son. It was. So here's my question. So I listened to the album. Okay. I have more of a statement than a, than a question. I listen to the album. Strangely, I like the album. My guy. This is a two songs. There's like two songs that I'm like, that's because he actually tried to really go the gospel route, right. bro. But everything else is pretty much. What's the difference between that and, and old Kanye, bro? He was just as self righteous, no, 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 no. just as preachy. What? On, on where? Sips this is drink. a guy that just named a song called Jesus Walks, bro. Yeah, All right, but that, that was, was one. That was edgy, like one. the whole orchestra. 
That bro. was that, hold on. That was one song. His whole image has been like the the, the begotten son, bro. Like he's always been that kind of dude. Like I, 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 some of the songs sound like old Kanye records. So two, mm, there's only like two, eleven joints. Maybe joy, three. So two, that, that's what a fifth of the album. <laughs> first of all, first first. First, first, of first, all. first, 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 of all, first, 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 first of yeah. all. Um, I can't, I can't listen to Kanye. I could barely listen to Kanye rap anymore. What songs did you I can't, not like? I, I can't listen to him. I can't listen to him spit. I could much less listen to him try to sing. Political issues aside, or, or like just, just no. Music-wise. It's just, it's just a, a matter of like you. Just like with any any rap, any MC, and anybody that you know in any field, like at a certain time, you just lose your edge and lose your pocket, and you know right. you lose a step. Because when I listen to it, I really try to let's, let's let's say I I just heard this for the first. I don't know this guy. I don't know nothing about him. I try to listen to it from that angle. Like try to watch. You know what I'm saying? Just right. from pure musical value, bro. So, I give it a three. I mean. Yeah, it was like a 2.5 two or two 3, and a maybe. Half. Can, yeah. I give it a 2.5. That's I, not good, though. Can I get in on the That's cut? That's not good. It's better than the last album. It that, is. Yeah, but the, yeah, is that is. how we're judging? In 2019 going into 2020, has that become how we judge things now? It's better than the last album. Nah, no, but he just like, saying considering... I mean, it's a part of it, isn't it, though? Yeah. Show you always, you always judge uh, the greats against themselves. Come on. Can I, I, I'm, a ju- I'm a judge against the, I, the his pinnacle. Do you want to be as good as your last beat? Jarv, come in. I'm I'm an, I'm always well, gonna I'm look gonna at finish. my best beats. <laughs> I'm gonna let him finish. I'm a I'm a I'm gonna hold my beats up against my best beats. Right. And if it's not that, fuck it. All right. Um. So I listen to the album, right? Front to back. If we just talking sheer music, Musical. right? If we nice. if we're just black and whiting the situation, it's a pretty good album. Snoop. There was all there was. <laughs> There was only one song that I really got upset about, and it was when he was really trying to get a yeah. sing on, and it was beginning to irritate me after and a while. That's like the tenth, uh, right? Ninth, it was towards the end so of the album, yeah. and I skipped it. If we just talk his shit, music, even some of the beats, you know, Kanye, oh, yeah. Kanye. There's a couple of it's, club it's, singles. It's kind of, it's kind of Pablo-ish in, in that vein. It's kind of, like it's kind of Pablo. Yeah, like the song go. with Ty Dolla Sign. See now that song that hit you. But this is where I forgot which one. This is where I'm gonna get I mean, a little. Everything you need. Nah, 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 this, is, this, this is where I'm gonna get a little salacious now. Okay. Because I I take issue with with the two guys here at the table, Langston and Sincere, <laughs> overthinking Kanye West once again. You two have fallen for the okie doke constantly. Kanye what? is well. Hold on. Kanye is full of shit. He's admittedly full of shit. Yeah. He's told you on constant occasions he's full of shit. Yet you motherfuckers take him seriously all the time. I don't understand. Take- we, why we, you talk about this man is, is egotistical and all of this? He's telling you the shit on the song. He made a whole Jesus-filled diary about how much he hates his life. <laughs> only to tell you how much he loves his wife sometime next week. <laughs> he's still trying to explain MAGA to us. We all know it's right, bullshit. Right, right. Why can't we just accept that it's bullshit and just listen to the music what? without getting personal? You love Kanye so much, it's like you want to take him outside of slot box, I'm saying. No, I no, that that would have been maybe like uh, a year or two. Yeah, ago. you still want a slap box. No, so you do. Nah, at this point bit. I'm just like cause I, honestly I went I went to go no listen <laughs> <laughs> I went to go listen to it purely for jur- journalistic purposes. Bro, yeah, yeah, yo, same talk, talk the, about which, means, it which means that you came to the album on your bullshit to, to not critique. like it. You came to there because I didn't like care. it. I didn't care. So hey, Kanye has not excited not, me that's since. That's not how you since, listen to it, though, bro. bro. Jesus. You gotta so, listen to wait, it. Can I? Can bro. I? Can I ask Kanye a has question? Not, hold on. If, if Kanye ahead, has ahead, not ahead. excited me since Jesus. So there's already a track record of Pablo. Yeah. Yay. Uh, Which is the one on that had blood on the leaves? Sincere's impossible yeah. scale of Jesus expectations. Jesus is the one that had blood on the leaves. Yeah. Jesus is the one that had blood on the leaves. Well, what you was gonna say, Lane? So. We are four friends who love hip hop music who have a podcast. Uh-huh. I mean, you use the term journalistic purposes. I don't. I don't intend on consuming music as a cold intellectualist just for the purpose of talking about it on the podcast. So I'm not going to separate my emotions when I listen to music because that's the whole right. reason I listen to music is to feel good. So if I can't feel good listening to it, then I'm not going to fuck with it. But it's not separating emotion from the music. It's separating emotion from the person, bro. Just like, just imagine, like, if this might sound crazy. 
take my take the R. Kelly thing. You know right. what I'm saying? That's a really good point. Like, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, Mo. Step in the name of love still sound good. For sure. Like, For sure. It, it, it does. As mad as bad it as. It does. You know what I'm Sorry, saying? Sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. I'm, R. Kelly yo, is way more not fucked up no than Kanye. Passes though. That's here. A fact. We're not monitors. We don't give passes. <laughs> what we're saying is. You can separate the man from the music and just listen to it just for the pure sonic value. Mm-hmm. If, and if I feel like you didn't, I feel like y'all didn't want y'all didn't really do that, especially you. Since so Sin went in like you a white sincere. person you who was racist in. against black people, all he wanted Bro. that black person to do was verify what he but, thought about them I'm off te- the rip. But I'm, te- but I'm telling you that there's songs on it that I like. I went in with a with an open city. Like if I two like a song, then I like a 11? song. Two out of eleven. Come on, I, son. How is bro? <laughs> How is an 11 track album only 27 minutes? Well, we love Daytona, now, right? Now, now we, now we, now we nitpicking how long no, the albums are. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. Your, look, your brother just Ka- had a great point. Ka- that's se- that's seven I songs. Mean, this is was 11. What, but two of them, he had, a, he had a quick intro and a quick outro. What the problem is? The, like it sounds half baked. Oh Kanye just God. sounds half baked. You want Twitter crying about the drums and all this and all the, the, the drums. drums are good. Good. Album. A lot of organ, you know. You're like you like you like the dude giving giving the driver's license. To what drums you want in 2019, <laughs> son? You, you don't want no 808s. Off. I want the fail, fail, fail. You want boom pack in 2019, listen, nigga? Listen, listen to the beat in the background. That's the kind of drums. <laughs> I wanted my shit. Oh my god! So I make my own beats Uh, and I throw the drums and they fire and I I, I fucking you lucky these beats are fire because I wanted to hate so hard. (laughs) I wanted to hate so hard. My drums be smacking, son. That's a fact. When they have to knocking or slapping. But uh, it slaps. slaps. His beat slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look, he turned red just now. He don't like that slap I don't shit. Like my beat, I don't like my beat slap. He can't use certain language around sin, oh, man. Oh yeah. All right, people, let's switch. To, let's switch the topics here. Uh, you know, something that that's more <laughs> in Sincere's lane and your lane too, lane. All right. Uh, Dave East and, and, and Nas yeah, dropped a collaborative man. record recently. Word. Song was pretty tough. Pretty tough. Oh, you know, I can't oh, be mad was at it. Is it? What happened? Oh, pretty tough. You like you you I, like a Nas song in 2019? Hey, well you love that gold Were you the one that hates Davies? <laughs> were you the one? I feel like Davies is underutilized and he plays himself with beat selection, like a lot of rap Nas, like a lot of rappers. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> that song is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's so, not pretty nice. It's beautiful. It's pretty good. It was good. Like I said in the group chat, no, it was good not shit. Pretty good. I, I, beautiful is a stretch, bro. Beautiful. See, it, that song is a pretty girl on the block. It ain't, it ain't a baddie in the club, bro. Stop. <laughs> well, you gotta I like, I like the pretty girl on the block. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would take the pretty girl on the block too. Any day. I mean, if I wasn't taken, I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. yeah. I'm cut him. Well, <laughs> let, let's stay on topic, Sin. Um, <laughs> you, you, the, the, the Nas and, and Davies record. What were your takeaways from that? Uh, we, we going to me first? Of course. Why that not? Shit was fire, Talk bro. to us. That shit was fire. fire. Um. Now, I mean, I, look, I'm a Nas fan. Everybody knows that. Uh-huh. Uh, but I'm also realistic. It's 2019. Right. Nas doesn't always put out fire in True. 2019. Uh, we had the Lost Tapes 2, which was yeah. kind of shaky. It was, it was all right. The, 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 thing, the things right that was now. fire was... 2.5. The, the things that was dope was fire, but Three then... and a half. I'm going to four. <laughs> Please. For me. Genie loved it. Continue, anyway. Sincere. So, Four-man. yeah. So, like... Um, and I remember th- around this time last year, mm-hmm. he surprised us with Echo, Echo yeah. on on the Swiss Beats Fire. album. Fire. That shit was beautiful. Yep. And so, like, I, I see. I, first of all, I saw it on Instagram, and I saw somebody post it, but then none of the outlets were posting it. So I was like, "Oh, this might be fake." Right. But then, um, who, I think Dave East posted it. Yeah. That, that, you, you sh- yeah. So you shared that post. And first and I was it was like, on YouTube. Then it was on. I was Apple. like, oh, so this is actually happen, happening. Uh, and again, I, I'm going into it with like a bit of a grain of salt. I'm like, it's 2019. I don't know how Nas is going to sound. Uh, but that that beat, first of all, that sample. As soon as it dropped. As soon as, soon as that sample comes in, um, it, again, as a, as a beat maker, producer, I'm like, man, I've never heard that sample before. How, how did I miss that one? But Who you found know, it? How did I miss that? I, I didn't want Nas to slow talk us to death he, right. he gave us a bar to a slow talk then he then he worked and then, his way and then the he, beat, he like finessed all through the beat like that line about the tree falling the tree yo yeah nobody heard it it's really, really garbage, garbage. <laughs> yo Nas was in his bag bro. he was in his bag on that and that the, and the people that say that Nas is a bad beat picker which there's there's is there's is some truth to that okay. but that, I'm, I'm not gonna deny it <laughs> Nas do there's there's truth to that 
But I think this is what they want. They want him to be on like, if not, if not hard Orchestral like beats, primo yeah. beats, but cinematic beats. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was beats that like he could really, you know, just like flow through, and he could like, you know, spit that, spit that that vision. Uh, of what he's seeing through through his third eye and whatnot, you know what I mean? Like that's that's what that's what Nas fans want. And I'm basically. glad they ain't go too mafioso with it too. Right. I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that either. And then you know Davies comes in and out, and you're like, all right, Davies did his thing, but that. it it really felt more like a Nas song. It really did. But you know when you think I mean? about it, they really did chunk up chunk because he, he ends it with um with Davies. Yeah. So that's it, true. It, it evens out to like yeah, two, but, two but, a piece. But right, but Nas Nas bar the, his his. Verses are way more bars. Wait, yeah, in first verse, the first verse. That's yeah, especially yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he goes on for a while, and then you Feels forget like that Davies is supposed Davies. to come in yeah. on the record. I love the way he came in on the record, though, man. The light skin terror. That's, yeah, that, that yeah, was, yeah. That was a fire record, man. Um, beautiful. Yeah, no, man. I enjoyed it a lot. I, uh, I mean, I love Davies. I think he's incredible. I have a lot of the same issues that Jarv does. I think he's got a terrible ear for beats. And Sid, you you alluded to this a little just now. Um, I think a lot of New York art, younger New York artists like Dave East, and Young M.A. I wish they would get on more vintage sounding beats. I think it would suit them a lot better. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I, I don't think that I don't think that for a, every artist, but definitely you know right. those two in particular. Like you, you wouldn't tell like a boogie with the hoodie to get on. The no, you right. know what I mean. But, but like, like, why has right. why has Davies not collaborated with Primo? You know, you know why, why? has he not collaborated with Pete we'll, Rock? We'll see. We'll see how this song does. The reaction from this song of why they should or should not do that. Well, I thought I thought business, the song was bro. fire, man. I, the song is beautiful. And I think uh, I, I also do the, my last take is that I think Davies brings something out of Nas. You know, it's hard for Nas. He said it on the song. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Nas is on a different kind of you know. Some people invigorate you, bro. And I, I definitely get that somebody vibe about half those your age. They can just get, give you that zone to so give you your vibe back. You know what I'm saying? It's basically a Nas song. Pretty much. I don't really care, honestly. I mean, unless... I mean, if, if there was a chance that this was going to end up being on a Nas out, because Nas does that. Like, he'll give heat away... To other like uh, put it put it on other projects like the QB's finest project. Nice, right. Um what was that what was that song on the QB uh, I'm I'm not gonna remember it. The Never bridge? Mind. No no no. It was um They did the remix. Find your wealth. Oh yeah. I yeah, find, yeah. love that. Find song. your wealth should have absolutely been on some Nas album. And I know it was probably meant for the Nostradamus. Like, Nostra, the I am Nostradamus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That combo, and because it was bootlegged or whatever, like he he just scrapped it and put it on that project. Such but a good song. Such a good. Yeah. I mean, he should have been on a Nas album, but he does that. It's either put on another project or it's unreleased, and then he you know at least on the web or like you puts out another lost tapes. Um, so yeah, he does that, and it's kind it's kind of you know infuriating, but. Um, just taking the song uh, for what it's worth on its own, the song is fire. Ooh. Um, I, I like I like the record. I'm, I'm coming. To you. I'm sorry, Dina. Um, I, I I feel like I came away wondering like where where do we go with Dave Beast from here? Because it seems like if you listen to some of his songs throughout the calendar year. He doesn't have like a triangulated sound. Like he's been all over the place acoustically. That's a fact. It's like, is this the lane that he's gonna be in? Is this is this the pocket he wants to be in? Does he want to Does he want to continue in the trappier sound he was playing around with in the summer? That's why we yeah, like, did a song with Gunna. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, who is have. Dave East at this point? And I feel like his voice and his flow is so difficult to build beats around. I don't know what, if I was like working with Dave East, I wouldn't know what to do with this guy. He's he's a, he's a New York like. Rap, he's a, he's a Nas S like that that type of like this type of beat. Dave East will black on. Absolutely, you don't think he can use agree. some more? Yeah, he will black on this. Black, like like I feel like who was producer for him on that Styles P album that collaborative album he did a year ago? Like, that was those, pretty good. Those, yeah, like, those, like good I, good. Yeah, like he needs those 
good. But, but, but what did that album do though? That's what I'm saying. As much as we, that's the music we love, right? But I haven't bought an album. Like, but is Dave East a star? To, are, are we expecting too much from him at yeah, this point? Yeah, Dave East is a star. I mean, he's could be. Why not? He's, well, he's worked with Rick Ross, and you know, he's. I, I don't he's know about a star, up, but he is on the Wu Tang series, right? Yeah. And it's playing. I see him on the Man. NFL Network talking about More stuff. Movies, like, for real? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I feel All like right. I'm getting and like play ball. gatekeeper vibe from from Dave East. Like and well, that's, that's not insulting, a, not but not necessarily. It's like for for a while, Pusha T was a gatekeeper before he made this classic album. Yeah. Like Fabulous is a gatekeeper. Guys who are really good at rapping, mm. but they but they don't mm. have the the discography to support their skill level. Okay. Mixtape rap, right? And yeah. I feel like that's where Dave East is going. Like he's becoming a gatekeeper who's gonna give us people of our ilk. A fire album, but the teenager's gonna be like, eh, the chicks are gonna love him because he's light skinned. <laughs> but like commercially, he's never gonna pop because he just doesn't have the record. Interesting. That's what I'm so let me just throw this in real quick. If let's say I want to make those with these type of beats, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Make those these type of songs, but the streets ain't taken to that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just both and opposed to what I want to what the streets want. I mean, it is a business. I got to give them what they want, even though there's a, a nice little. Little contingent of people that want to hear like me on these good, good boom bap joints, but right. but the but streets. Is it, but isn't that the what support, the streets want? Uh, the streets love Dave East, right? Yeah. But but the, but the kids is really you know right. hip hop is still so young. So what if bro. he does the MA route where he blends sounds to make some? He shit. has moments like that. But MA's consistently in that pocket of That's blended true. sounds. I feel like they would be dope on records together. Oh, yeah. I agree. I, I agree. agree. That would be a dope vibe. Like, let make Ooh. that collab happen. I'm surprised the break yeah, the break that out in the universe. Let's talk about that. Yo, yeah. the man, the we want to see y'all work together. Make the, it happen. The rap round That's table said it first. We don't, we don't care about Megan and, and the baby together, but I we mean, would care about. I really don't think it. <laughs> I'm gonna fact. look it up. I don't think there is a song with them two. Is nah, there? Nah, they, oh, and that they don't exist. But uh, before we shift gears, we there was a tag new. Him on IG and... That's a fact. Yeah, we, uh, we yeah, gonna, uh, we'll chop this up. We're gonna talk about you, MA. We gonna, let's go, John. Yeah, yeah, fuck with MA. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel about MA over here. But the goat, that's the goat, the Javi. Uh, stop. Say, don't know what's wrong now. <laughs> first of all, first, 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 first of all, she's she the most talented ever. She got bars. Anyway. Ooh. That's all I'm saying. I didn't get to hear the new Kiss record, but I know some of us at the table did. Oh, I love Any that quick record too. Wait, what? Should... New I Kiss record? Did. Yeah, what? man. You didn't hear me? No. Did uh, we talk about it on the group chat? It's in the group chat. You said it. You be sleeping on the group chat. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> we got we to gotta talk more football in the group chat for him to pull up. <laughs> We gotta uh, fold, we gotta fold in some football talk and they're, they're bait him out like oh hey, we got him oh my god <laughs> no listen man um nah that that quick segue Jada, they do have yeah, a song but it's not just them two it's them and like Fab and um Casanova don't run nah it don't count it don't run that was a remix. <laughs> oh, okay. it, don't that joint? it don't count don't run right. it, and it wasn't even fire it like that yeah, no, Cass I love the original don't run don't get mad at me yeah, I didn't like the remix so much go ahead Sam um nah this new Jada record is right up my alley man it's a soul record chopped up. I mean, not really. Well, yeah, it's chopped up. Uh, they they loop up part of the part of the record that um, that just says me, uh-huh. and so it's it's kind of along the same lines as why uh, uh. why. So like, it's got a theme to it. It's so his like, biggest hit, right? Yeah, and so um, so every time you know he basically just you know throws out a question that obviously it rhymes, you know, it, it raps, mm-hmm. right? Um, and so he throws out a question. And so it's you know the answer is always me. Oh. You know what I mean? So that's, that's right. That's the theme of the record. But the sample is so dope that it's like yo, this like it's a little gimmicky, but it fucking works. You know what's crazy? The first time I listened to it, I was like, oh, this is Jada's regular vibe. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Second time, third, yo, it gets better when you listen to it, bro. Okay. Third, yo, you I'm, really I'm bop to it, right? Now, because I heard it on the way here, and I was like, eee, eee, eee. So, Yeah, you show just want to like, show, this, uh, show this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so is this, is this a song for us, or this is a song that can resonate? It's a song for us, but I feel like the kids can vibe to it due to the, the harmonizing part okay. of the me and all that. All right, all right. Like, you know, That's especially fair. since everything is in the meme world, like the girl goes, like, where you going? Who you going by yourself? Just me. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> <laughs> kids, 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 I see what your mind is at, brother. They'll find a way to you use know, it. You know, Dini you always think about the ladies. Can, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of, it, yeah, no, nah, but to Dini's it, point, man. It's a it's a dope song. It's a little gimmicky. Jere Jere Dini said, "What up?" But go ahead. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> yo. Did we just do that? All right, I'm my bad, Sid. And it's a it's Terrible. a it's a little memeish, 
it's a little memeish. Like, you know, like you said, like girls could be like, yo, who you going to the club with? Me. You know what I mean? There you go. Um, so, yeah, it could work if it's pushed right. Like, it could really, like, you know, get a following. It got a bop. It definitely got a bop. Right. Definitely sound like a hair playing in the spot five years from now in, in motion. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It just right. got, it right. just it's got carry, to be pushed. It's a carry record. And, it, you know, you got to kind of get over... Um, you know that it, that it's Jada Kiss and it's not really his era, right? You know what I mean. Um, but yeah, no, I I dig the record a lot. All right, now yeah. we gotta get on a, on a bit of a somber note. Recently, news came out that DMX went back into rehab. You know, he was coming out. We were seeing him on social media having ciphers, chopping it up with some of the younger generation of artists. But to hear he's going back into rehab preemptively. I said on social media that I feel like his life is the worst part of his life. His mm -hmm. fame, that is, excuse me, mm -hmm. is the worst part of his life. Um, does anyone care to give any takes on DMX and, and the rehab situation? Oh, they need to check it in. I'm sorry. I, I think um, it's it's good. and it's, You know what? DMX is at a better part in his life, bro. Somebody might look at it as a bad part that he's actually relapsing. But it's to know you're in that zone and that you're able to seek the help prior to falling back into the dark side of the force, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a fact. That's got to be something admirable and respectable and showing that you have some control over the situation. So in some in some way, he's doing his best not to be a victim or slave to the to the work. You know what I'm saying? So I, I respect his fight. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, it's just tough that when you have demons. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Cancel shows for that. It's is is you costing yourself money. Money. But it's like you have to you have to play defense against yourself. Working I say that a that lot comeback. in life. You know what I mean? It's like you have to play defense against yourself in order to maintain yourself. True. It's Marv. like you're getting around this fame, the Ooh. alcohol, Maybe. the women, the 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 Jar, vibes. Jarv spitting bars. You know what I mean? mean? This is all it, facts. It, man. You, just, it is what you it just is. said it two two bars ago. Like you just worded it perfect, but you know I'm, I'm in my zone. So, um, <laughs> now you, you gotta just, play defense against yourself. Yeah, you just and, that, right? and that's like, what checking in was doing. That's what yeah. he's doing. So you I know? gotta respect it. But it's like, what, what 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 does DMX do now? Should he just stop being DMX? Should he just be his regular self? But we don't. Yo, let me get the ginger, bro. Yo, bro oh shit, my bad. We don't love if DMX today stop became like official pastor, bro. Mm. Like we were still. Or Kanye vibe? What if Kanye saves him? Yo, I, yo, I was like, honestly, I was wow. about to say, yeah. I'd rather have go a right DMX with gospel wrong. album than a Kanye gospel album. You said what? That I would have, I'd rather have a DMX gospel yo, album. Yo, DMX's than, first two albums are basically, basically like, 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 if it's anything like, like the combo, hardcore gospel album. If it's album. anything like the convo, that's a fact. Then, 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 then it's over. DMX, a gospel album from DMX, somebody's knocking, should I let them in? Like, I, yeah. I, I listen to that, bro. <laughs> I listen to that. Why do you have that on cue, bro? Yo, that's a Yo, the whole album is can fire. I just say about DMX, man? I, you know, I, I hear the way he's talked about um, nowadays, and he's been sort of reduced to a punchline. Man, these youngins will never know. You'll never understand what never. 1998 was like. Oh yeah, and who the hottest rapper in the game was? It wasn't Jay Z. It wasn't Big Pun. It wasn't none of these other cats. It was the DMX. Dog. By a mile, he was like a Dark ball Man X, of bro. energy, like un, like the didn't I say the unstoppable force meets a movable object. He was both. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You couldn't do nothing with him. Bro, Everything he touched was just like not too many millions. people got on the track and you just felt that like right. You felt him every Yo, time he got on the song. Can bro? I say something? I I heard him recently say how he thought. Uh, the beat to Rough Riders Anthem when Swiss gave it to him. Uh, yeah, I saw that too. He, he said he thought that shit was corny. He was like, <laughs> yo, what, what am I supposed it's to do? It's one of like, the hardest hey, hip-hop records yo, of all time. And he, all was, time. And, and, he, and he was like, yo, what I'm, I'm just supposed to like, you know, do some sing-songy shit to this? I'm like, you know, I can't... And that's what he did. That's that's what he did. gonna feed his kids' kids, bro. bro. Listen, man. And he was like, yo, I gotta spit like mad simple to this. But what's funny is, is and that... And what the end result was... Like the the like to think to think that he thought it was corny, mm -hmm. but then that's what he did with that record right. anyway. Yo, and it's like when it first came out, I think universally a lot of people were like, "What is this?" Because <laughs> it didn't fall in line what we were but, accustomed to at that moment. And that makes sense in terms of like how he introed the record. He was like, "Some new, new. 
Yeah. Stop. You know what I mean? He knew he it was his uncomfortable. Like, yeah. Doing yeah. that. Yeah. Down, open up right. shot. Yo. Think about Yo. 98 and what Nori was doing and Ben yeah. from TV, what Ho was doing, what Jermaine Dupree was doing. Yeah. And then this dude came me. in with that. It's like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> but then <laughs> he murked wanna, all of them. Yo, what, niggas, what, I was like, whoa. What, what was the next single after that? Was it Get At Me, Dog? Might have been. Uh, what must I go through to show you? Oh, shit, it's bad. No, I think it all me. Get, get, get at me, dog. Was before that. No, you're right. You're right. Needy, you're right. Before that, rough get, get at me, dog. Later. Get at me, dog. That, that, was that, the first record. Yeah. Stop being get greedy. Stop the video greedy. with a tunnel. Stop being greedy. Was yeah. after. Being greedy. There we go. Um. So my thing on DMX, Mad Militant. Ooh. Yo, I just videos. Oh my god. I'm not gonna act like a expert on substance abuse. Uh. I just want him to do whatever he needs to do to get because right. we want DMX to be around for as long as possible. Because I That's think we fact. all love He's DMX. One of my legends, He's one a of the fucking few that legend. Been a and you know what, rapper, man? Bro. He's one put, of the few. Like when you talk about DMX, you better put some fucking respect on his name, man. Because that man is a fucking legend that put out a lot of legendary hip hop music. So he's more than Facts. whatever it is he's battling. The man is is a legendary hip hop artist, and I wish that as a culture we respected him more. A round of applause for DMX. And I feel he could have been like performing till he's like sixty. Them songs would have still been hitting, bro. Them, yeah. Them songs just timeless, bro. You got stadium music. Timeless. You That's see what fact. you see them Yo, shows. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. At the at the, at the uh, that? Woodstock, the Woodstock ninety nine. Woodstock, Woodstock, Woodstock ninety nine. Google Woodstock ninety nine. Had a bunch of white bitches showing their tits. I remember that. I was watching on the legal paper. Yeah, he, did it, he just did it again this year. What Yo, was same that? thing. Yo, remember his second album? Uh, is it's dark and hell is hot. He flesh did a song. Flesh. That's the first oh, flesh and my flesh. flesh. Right. My bad, my bad. That was the second one. Yeah. Uh, he did a song with Marilyn Manson that was fucking the fire. Snake. And this was this was before yeah. you know, like Marilyn right. Manson was a weirdo to DMX's demographic. Sure, he was right. like, nah, like this cat, me and him, we're kindred spirits. <laughs> we, you know we what I'm saying? We and he over put it. out this fire ass song. Is man. Black out the best song on that album? But just to just ask real quick. I used to have yeah. bad luck. Now yeah. you might see, see me in the jack, jack truck, truck messed up. Either, either with a dime or a bad duck. duck. <laughs> Jay-Z still had the best verse, though, but keep going, y'all. Come on. Prime Hove? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah. much yeah. to say, you know? Don't Sleep encourage me. winners. Wake up and spill summers. summers. Get, Get on nigga. Put in the Will, Will Smith, Smith numbers. numbers. Yo, Google old Jay-Z, too. Back to the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we kind of went on a tangent. We, we vibing a little over here. Oh, yeah. Blame the Jameson. Now I'm going to grab the steering wheel and get us back on track. Point guard. Um. Sincere had a topic as we, as we get into you know the the main course of this episode. We did the appetizers, you know. We had the, the tastings and things of that nature. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sincere had a, a topic about rapper origins, like like where, where their story begins and how the fans relate to them over the course of their career. Origins? Yeah, I can't say that word. <laughs> I always say origins. Fight me. You know what I'm saying? Oranges. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, man. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You guys will leave me alone. <laughs> the guy needs flavor. Origins. We talk about, talk about anyway. Rapper, NT way. Rappers tangerines. Right. right let's go. Tangerines. <laughs> um. Pause. But uh. <laughs> yeah. Double time. <laughs> Sheesh. But uh, he he made a good point that a lot of times the perception of said act. Is based on how they get in the game. Whether it was a person who was a street dude who came up, whether he, whether he was a SoundCloud dude who came up, or some some industry plant who came up, it always seems like the story shifts or the vibe shifts depending on how you got in the game and what you did when you got on. So I wanted to ask you guys your, your take on that. I'll start with Sin since you brought it to the table. You're the best person to like shed light on that. Yeah. Um, so I, I I think a lot of it has to do with. Um you know, like as again, as a purist, uh, when when you try to keep the, um, you know, the, I don't know, the ori- the original like essence of hip hop in mind about how it it came from the struggle and it came from the streets and it was about making something out of nothing, uh, and then now it's like a, a global phenomenon. It's the the biggest you know music genre in the world right mm. and it's reached all corners um i think to purists that matters you know what i mean the fact that like when, when you see a new artist you're like oh i right, so this person's making music what's their story where did they come from you know what i mean and so like um when, when you when you hear an artist uh talk about like their struggle coming up 
you know what I mean, growing up in the hood, uh, you know, the, the normal stories, pops left, single mother right. household. The relatable the stories. Soldier, the relatable stories, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you instantly, you're like, okay, that's, yeah. that's where hip-hop comes from. Sometimes there's other type of stories that come through, but it's still, it's, you know what I mean? Like, if it's still a story about, like, um, you know, I had nothing, and I just, like, I felt this connection to this music, and I kept putting it out, and finally somebody paid attention, you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's the, the story of hip-hop, yeah. right? Um, but then when it's like, um, oh, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, ladies, if you're, if you're a Cardi fan out there, but... You're talking about it, your fan base, bro. That's, that's your base. <laughs> what do you mean? That's a fat. What do you say? Oh, sorry, ladies. You apologize to yourself? You love Cardi. The boogie down. Yo, I'm so tight right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you. the end of time, bro. The fuck are you talking about? You what are you talking about? I'm doing it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's you know an episode would not pass without me getting that in, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, the fact that yeah, all right, Cardi comes from the struggle, but the fact that she was on a TV show, a popular TV yep. show, and making a grip on that TV show, right? Right before we knew her in the music scene, right? That something like that is automatically, I think, going to taint. The perception. So not the bars. I mean, the, I mean, no, no, no. There, I mean, there's that. But, but there's there's plenty of artists that have questionable bars that still will get some respect. Yo, y'all need to get it. Get your shit together, B. When it comes to Cardi, bro, it's difficult, man. All right. So my point being. There's plenty of artists that have questionable bars, but will still get a certain amount of respect because right. of, you know, they they came from the street. Right now, Cardi again came from the street, but she took a detour through VH1 and then came over into music well, but she, and make it rap. Music. She got that spot on VH1 based on her street credibility and her though. Instagram. Yeah. Right, I mean, it, but you know, hip hop is the new segue, though. So hip hop is kind of like we, we, it's like the stepping stone and transition right. to like movies and all the other stuff. Exactly, that, you don't that, make no see, money rapping; that, you make money doing all the other stuff. Yeah. Right, but that that's a good point. But in terms of like the 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 hip hop audience, um, at least you know, again, you know, people that have like that 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 purist mindset, if you if you started hip hop and then branch off to other things. Yeah, some people will be like, ah, oh, here goes, you know, such and such, you right. know, trying to be a movie star. But some of us will, you know, like congratulate them and be like, yo, that's what's up because, uh -huh. like, you leveled go, up. Yeah, you leveled up. Go get that bag. Growth. You know what I mean? Queen Latifah, right. Will go. Smith, Ice Cube. You know what I mean? Um, but there, it, there's, there's something about, and, and, you know, like, as I'm saying this, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, uh, make sense of it in my in my own head. Like, why is that, right? I'm not saying it's it's necessarily right, but there's something about starting off somewhere else and then coming into hip hop. Mm. You know what I mean? That just feels. So you think it's like the relatability? Like maybe it's the fact that like, all right, this dude is like me. He doesn't have a father at a home. He 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 had to struggle. He was on you know government assistance. He had to sell drugs, whatever. You think that story just resonates better than a dude on his computer rapping? Um. Yeah, I mean, I've, I like. We celebrate struggle, bro. What do you bro, think, Lane? Like, You've like, been too quiet. Yeah, like, look, I, I, well, well, let, let me just answer your yeah, question. If you let, let's say we were to be, make a movie of, about an artist, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got one movie that's true, like true, true. coming out going. from the hood. You know what I mean? You see their whole story of struggling and Eminem like Eminem fifty. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then you know some kid in his you know on his computer with like a perfect household and it's just ah, I just want to rap. Yeah, slim and, like, Jesus. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, "No, nah, I just, uh, you know, I like rap. I just want to rap." And then, like, he, but he's just in his room in the computer. That doesn't True. make for a good movie. What up, Lane? I think the best artists are the ones that uh, they transcend their art. Meaning, mm -hmm. like, like if I listen to Illmatic, it's like this is incredible. I need to learn more about this person that made this. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like. There's there's a lot of dope rap albums where I hear the album and then I'm good like all right cool that this was a fire. dope rap album yeah. but the like cream of the crop the best like if I want to know how like 
an artist is like, nah, this motherfucker's different. Like, mm-hmm. I, I got to do some research, like, about what brought them to make this. Right. So, I mean, yeah, I think one of my issues with criticism, like music criticism, is that a, a lot of it, not all of it, but it, it looks to uh, view art in a vacuum, at least mm. from my perspective. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's missing the point. Like, okay. it's all it's all part of the package. Right. You know, like, like when we talk about rap albums, I think we're guilty of this a little bit, too. Of course. Like, we talk too much about... I'm going to sound crazy, but we talk a little bit too much about the music and not enough about what that album means just in the moment. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we would talk, like, Graduation by Kanye West. Right. Like, like, if we had an episode about that album, we wouldn't talk about the fact that that album came out the same day as 50 Cent's album. 50 Cent was the biggest rap artist of that moment, that's and he outsold him. Right. I mean, that's a rel- that's relevant to the the you know that out is it not like True. Yeah. from an artistic perspective you know what i'm saying but so that I don't goes know. back I, I to like what rambling, think, but, no, but that kind of goes back i'm sorry Sam. Yeah, go, go, go. it, it kind of goes back to the point about we knew where kanye came from we right. we, we fought the fight with kanye right so right. when he beat 50 it was like yeah we was there you get right. what i'm saying go right, ahead right, sir right. the little guy the um, tough guy no yeah. I, think, I, I think i think what you're saying like it, it means something from a uh from a cultural standpoint, you know what I mean. As far as like, if 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 we're talking about the culture, in terms of like, in you know intermingling with the industry, right? Because you we can't really like, we want to, but we can't like pull those two things apart. At the end of the day, like they're always gonna intermingle, right? And so like, you know, we all like as far as myself, I I have a proclivity to go more towards like just the cultural right. artists and the cultural part of the music and if it you know if if you if you're able to keep that cultural vibe and feeling and still you know intermingle with the industry right then all 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 the better for it right that's mm-hmm. why like when you know those early days of Kanye it was like oh he doesn't sound like anything that's in it. he's sticking to His what he's his guns and what he knows and what he loves and what he wants to do and wear pink polos. Right. right? So he was an underdog that we got behind. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, but I think when when it's a, when it's the feeling of like an artist starts more on the in in the industry already in some type of industry, mm-hmm. entertainment industry, mm-hmm. not necessarily a hip hop industry, but like you know artists like Drake, who was already like on a TV show and then right. all of a sudden one day he was like, <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna act like I know his life. Like, he probably always loved rap, right. right? But, you know, he was already on a TV show, and he was like, you know what? Nah, fuck, fuck this TV shit. I'm going to rap. You know what I mean? There's something, like, if 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 we start um, seeing his life from that point forward, we're like, oh, but you was, you was already an industry person. Right. right? You was already in the industry, and now you want to come over into rap because you, what, so you same. think... You think it's 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 profitable because you think you know you might get a bag out of it. Segway. That's I, the feeling that comes from it. You know as I mean? you're here and you're making that point, you know, and I throw it to Dini because we we haven't heard from Dini in a couple of minutes. Sin made the point about being the other grassy cast member. Mm-hmm. That that's basically where it starts for him in the entertainment world. But what is it about Drake that it seems like hip hop doesn't love Drake? Like you know how you know how like Bang we had that Jay Z debate. Like, there's a love for Drake that mm-hmm. emanates from hip-hop, the culture. It seems like a lot of Drake's love doesn't come from hip-hop, but comes from elsewhere. What do you think? Why, why does hip-hop, I'm not going to say reject Drake, but why does it not embrace Drake the way it should? He's carried the fucking league. I, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. Um, I don't, people don't see Drake as hood, bro. You think that's what it is? He it, don't got it, the hood it's pass? A, it's a lot of things. It's, it's you know, the whole, the whole half and half thing. You know that that's one thing, mm-hmm. the mixed thing. Um, <laughs> half and half, <laughs> the half and half, brother. You know what I'm saying? Artificial sweetener. Yo, you know, <laughs> first of all, first, <laughs> first, 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 first of yes. all, half and half. Sh- shout out to all my day walkers. <laughs> Yo, I you just, win, bro. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, cause I didn't know what you yeah, were talking no. about when you said half and yeah, half. You, you got a job to do with the Jada Kids laugh just now. That's hilarious. Yo, Dini wins, bro. Yo. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. It's go all ahead. good, bro. 
<laughs> yes. All right. Half so and half. It, it's that. It's, it's the um. Number two, the music is good, bro. Yeah. yeah. It sucks that someone that you that you look at you, you want you want this guy on top to be. That's why Fifty's rise are so great. You want that to be the hood underground. You don't want the top guy to be the guy who looked like his life was beautiful. Right. It just it sucks to see that. You know what I'm saying? You want the underdog to win. That's why when you know when he came out with started from the bottom. Stop. Lot a lot of us looked at him sideways like But but it's all it's where all, is it's your all, but it's, it's all perception. It's all perspective. It's all perspective. There you go. I get it. And he came a long way. He came a long Cause, way cause you're, from you're, his your bottom. hard life. Your bottom might not be my bottom, you know what that, I'm saying? And that and that's pause, my pause. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, son. But that's that's Fire. my point. For for people that always keep like the hip hop origin story in mm-hmm. the back of their mind. You know what I mean? Everything is gonna come through that. It's like a superhero a tragedy. You know what I mean? Exactly. So like everything all perception is gonna come through that lens. You know what I mean? And so like a person like Drake. Coming out, especially if he comes out with a song like "Started from the Bottom," right? You're like, bro, what bottom are you talking about? Because I've seen the bottom, I've been to the, the bottom, the above my people's is pool. in the bottom. You know like, what? I think, and I'm gonna throw this to you, the superhero tangent. Okay. Everybody wants their favorite rapper to have that Bruce Wayne story. Yeah, tragedy. But 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 Drake was Tony Stark. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Everything was good for Tony. He has he has some minor issues along the way. He had some daddy issues along the way, but he was but never no, broke. Did you hear? Did you, Drake's dad came out and said there was never daddy issues. Right, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. That's a different time. His right. daddy issue, Tony Stark's daddy issue, wasn't our daddy issues. You right. know what I'm saying? But he always had some bread. He had some chicken. He had ambition. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you watch Avengers. Everybody loved Captain America, but they don't love they don't love Tony the way they love Cap. You know what I mean? Mm. Think so? They love Cat, bro. In, in, in Avengers, this might be hard to say, but I think they might love Tony more than they love Cat in Avengers. In the MCU. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like, I think that the fact that his bottom was more middle class yeah. as opposed to lower class. Above ground swimming pools. People people who in the barber shops in the hood looking at this lights can do with the frog face. Like, bro, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your noodles life like, right. bro? Like, <laughs> did, what, did, you, did you really have to yeah. eat oodles and noodles you know for saying? dinner That's at night? What's your life did like? you have Woo! to have spam or corned beef and rice? Was that yeah. your struggle? Your oven was on in the winter time. Was that you? Right. We want to know those things. You know what I'm saying? But that's we, what want, up, like? we want that guy to. What do you think about our takes? I I think that Drake, uh, he measures himself against. Prince and Michael Jackson. Okay. That's where he's at now. That's where he's looking at it now. I, I, yeah, I mean, Drake is a pop star. I mean, at this he's point, he's an yeah. A-list pop mega star. Okay. Yo, can I get a little bit of that? Kill Let's it. Kill it. Me. I, Kill right, me. Anybody else? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Fan. Midpoint, he saw that Jamie almost over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm better ah. not. This guy reacted. Uh, activated. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Drake is a he's a different kind of artist than we typically talk about. Right. He's uh, dealing with a different kind of bag. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's dealing with Life's slightly different. different kind of music, so it's difficult for us to properly calibrate where he stands. And I think he knows that. I think that that's behind a lot of the angst within his music. Mm-hmm. It's like they're comparing me to Jay Z, but I mean, I'll never be Jay Z. I'd rather be Michael Jackson. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, so, okay. I got a question. Now that you yeah. you put that on the table. Who's had the better prime? Was Jay Z's prime better than Drake's prime, or Drake's prime better than Jay Z's prime? In, in regards to I what? I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm prime. Offended. What they did at their I'm peak. offended by that question, and I, I think am too. It's clearly Jay Z. We doing it from a whole. We fan. doing it for the culture. Just answer the question. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying as far as, as, far as the music, as far as the, the album sales, like what do we look? peak popularity? Peak. I, I think, think, I think I mean, Drake can, can we really, Drake we really is popular. Drake is more popular. Drake is worldwide than, but than, more than Hove was. I think I think Hove did more for the culture. Right. Like Hove brought the culture to more people. Drake was able to be more popular because by the time Drake was on, more people had access to it because it's, of Hove. You so know right. what I'm Drake there's benefited no Drake, from Hove. There's no Drake without Hove coming okay, before okay. him. Okay, right. we gotta, we, the people want to know. We gotta, yeah, you know, we gotta yeah, ask yeah, the questions. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You know what I mean? This one has it. So it's like, is, is it? Oh, he has it. 
And we out here trying to guess the drink, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I, I just got to ask because that's been the constant comparison from the time yeah, Drake entered man, the door. I hate that they shit. They say that he's God as clever damn. and as witty as a J. But no. 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 They, they, they say that. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I figure let's talk about it. I would say that Jay is, I would say Drake is the hove of his era yeah, as far as his I'd position in the culture. Sure. So why not ask the question? You know, some people ask who had better primes than Jay-Z and Kobe. Not Jay-Z, Kobe. Kobe and Jordan. We know that answers Jordan but we gotta ask anyway for fun you know yeah. I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> so basically the gist of what I'm getting, getting is for people because we gotta spell things out for listeners sometimes to hear what they wanna hear Drake's lack of a struggle is why hip hop doesn't embrace him is that where we're at at this table um I think that I think that's part of it okay the other the other part is that the um run. the huh? run no, no, it's not. It's not the run. I don't think. I mean, there, there's there's depth. Okay, there's definitely a, a segment of listeners, um, music listeners, right? Hip hop music listeners that will just um, reject anything that's popular. That's definitely true. I think I'm looking at one right now. I'm nah, looking that's at true. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. I was, I was a Kanye fast for, fan for the longest. You always bring up Kanye. When Had to that hit comes. you with the, the, Kanye. You use Kanye as his out. Always. That was clutch. Uh, that was clutch. Yeah, fuck you, Link. Um, <laughs> that was clutch. Yeah, yeah. That was clutch. Applaud um, that man. I, I can take it. I can take it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're far too kind. Um, damn, I lost my point. God <laughs> damn. Like, that's how like, you know Lane made a good point. <laughs> the clutchness affected you. Said, you. Uh, no, 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 no. Because that's the other part of it, other than the like his origin story and the fact that he didn't, it it I mean again I don't know his life, but it, it probably was not the struggle, struggle, struggle. You know what I mean? Um, the other part of it ghost is writing. is that well, there's the ghost ride, but aside from that, mm -hmm. um, he doesn't know what he wants to be. Does he want to be? He wants uh, to be everything, MC? bro. He wants to be everything. Global. He's a, he's a chameleon. He wants he's to be the LeBron of this no, woman. He was Southern, and he was Canadian, he, and he was Jamaican, and he's, he's Korean. Korean. I think, like, I, I, I now remember this uh, coming up. Um, Hove was kind of, uh, 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 you know, uh, bashed for kind of the same thing, in but within within the circle of hip hop, like. Does he want to be, uh, you know, does he want to do songs with UGK and be a Southern rapper? Or does he want to, you know, do songs with Primo and be a New York, you know, street rapper? Th those takes wanna... are they're stupid. But he but, never, right, never, right, never, right. never rapped like the people he was on the songs with like that, though. But he, but here's the thing. Like, that, those were all conversations held within the, the, the circle mm -hmm. in the realm of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. With Drake, it's like, all right, so... Not only do we not know what kind of hip hop artist you want to be, but we also don't know if you even want to stay within hip hop. Maybe you want to be an R and B singer. Maybe you want to do like West Indian music, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to have that. Come on, son. <laughs> Maybe you want to like throw out that that fake ass patois, like you know what I mean? Like we don't know. We don't know. More Shout shots from to head tops. <laughs> More tune for your head More tops. Tune for your head for tops. Sure. We don't know. So, um, so yeah, I think that's another major issue uh, is that he's he's too much of a chameleon, right? Like, Hov is a chameleon mm. within hip hop. He's just like, oh, I'm going to start bass. off as an actor, Heavy and bass. then I'm going to be a rapper, and then I'm going to make R&B songs, and then I'm going to be... You know who Drake reminds me of in that fashion? Tupac. Ooh. Tupac was too much of a chameleon for his own good. Uh, no way, not like that. <laughs> Tupac was pretty one dimensional as far as like um as far as like rapping. Yo, Joe, why are you laughing, bro? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm enjoying this every because now, every now and again I, I, I want to fight Lang, but then he says something that just you know, right to my heart. You know, right to my heart. You 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 know, you know how to work, Lang. You know how to work. And, uh, you know, Jarv I'm, doesn't he, like he's, Tupac. He's I love Tupac. Tupac. No, I'm, 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 We're gonna talk about Tupac in a later episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay I'm, tuned. I, Lang, I got some issues with Tupac. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We're gonna I'm, talk real, about real it. Real quick, real quick. Yeah, what's up? What you was gonna say? Cause you like you. Was, no, no. I'm saying I was gonna say I'm a little giddy right now because of I, I know where that conversation is gonna end up going. Oh yeah. At some point, hot fire. We're like gonna save that lyrics. down the line. To be continued, ladies and gentlemen. But not today. Gentlemen. Save it. Um. But damn, you got. I mean, 
we gonna we gonna chop this clip up and we gonna throw it out and people are gonna like they were comparing come, Tupac to Drake. Come for you for I, for comparing Drake and listen, Tupac. Listen, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ebro made a prick. Y'all know me, man. This guy has his address tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> Y'all can come see me. This is the same dude who barked at the dude for saying I take me wasn't around, bro. It's kind of oval today. How you feel, bitch? (laughs) This part's round. (laughs) I'm trying to get our mailbag segment together while on the air, too. Oh, yeah. Can I do it again? I I like doing it. It's a little late. I I don't know. Do you you want to do it? It's too many options this week. I'm sorry. I'm going to take the L. I should have got it done before, but you know life. But But, you know, we could like split it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But as we're here, right, you know, we, we've done a lot of talking. I said I had a, you know, a little rant that I wanted to you oh, know, do on the round table. Here we go. You know, I don't normally rant on the round table. I save that for other platforms. That's a fact. You know, but Buckle up. throughout 2019, I've been in many comment sections. <laughs> I've been on many <laughs> posts on all various mediums of social media. The hill. I've been on YouTube and seen what they, these guys have to talk about. And you know what? I've got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I am sick of the 40 plus hip hop crowd. Oh, I shit. Bro, am, just at me, bro. I, I'm getting there. You know I got God you. Damn, I bring your phone all the bro. time. I am sick. <laughs> And tired of you 40 plus motherfuckers sincere <laughs> who who want rap to be one thing from 20 years ago you grade everything on an impossible curve you act like the sound didn't change from the 80s to the 90s to the 2000s and you refuse to adapt to the new era everything is bad you this guy over here sitting doesn't like 808 the drums the, don't knock the drums bro. don't knock they, old don't, facts. The drums is everything is bad when, when you have so much bullshit in your era just like this era i support but, this but, message but you guys always complain and knock the new Listen, dudes not- sounded like a bunch of fucking old ass haters yes. who don't let these young dudes elevate That's i am sick and tired of the older hip hop crowd being a bunch of old ass haters. Me I'm too. tired of it. Let these lawnmower? young boys elevate. Hold Let on. them elevate. Hold on. Hating ass motherfuckers. Yes. But not, I'm tired. Not not ev- not, ev- not everything. I'm out of my chair. Flame off. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas hate on everything. All right. Not not everything's bad. Not everything's bad. Ninety percent of it is bad. I mean, not everything is bad. The fuck are you talking, talking about? The fuck are you talking about? You hate about, on everything, sin. No, I don't. Hey, listen, is bad. listen. How much not, of it is bad? Not sin? everything is bad. Um, How much of it is bad? There's a new Gangstar album. Oh, oh god! god. Oh, wow. Wow. Got it. Drop in on this Friday. Nigga right here. Woo! This is the bullshit I talk about. Okay, Rick Rick Flair. Flair. They'll, they'll tell Woo. me about Gangstar boy, and gang. Common and listen to some <laughs> old ass. Newsworthy music that niggas use for for mood music to go to fuck to sleep and tell me that shit is fire, but some shit that's Coming not from, bars? From, from future. Bars? You know what I'm saying? Bars with, with, when future's uh, making some Coming fire, oh, future so bad, it's too much 808s, but some snooze fest shit from Little Brothers Fire, stop it. I don't nah, want to hear hey, none I, of that I, shit. I was hey, with hey. you up until that Little Brother <laughs> yeah. slander. Yeah, I'm slander to everything. No. <laughs> Y'all that's niggas make sleep album. music. Y'all love sleep music. Y'all gotta listen to Y'all that little brother album for, for shit that 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 sound twenty years dated, but then when I move the culture forward, stop it. P Rock and Sky Zoo was fire. Stop it. I still have not heard that. album. Was, you don't care, it, man. Cause but, you don't care to hear it. Right. Right. You don't care. He's right. I heard it the day of last right. podcast. I made sure I got it in. So move, move, moving the culture and the sound forward. What does that mean to you? Exactly. Future. Yes. Yes. No. Future. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's uh, aligning it's a aligning with the vision and the ears of the younger generation. That's their time. moving the culture forward. But you want to hear some shit from ninety six okay, and twenty nineteen? What's, what's 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 future's content in a nutshell? The same shit uh, you was drugs, loving in ninety six, motherfucker. Women, drug rap, mafioso shit, falling in love with the user of drugs, hoes and bitches. The user the of same drugs shit now, you though. loved in ninety six. Yo, has, has we anyone, sold drugs in '96. Has and anyone at this rapped. table ever fallen in love with a stripper? They, they do drugs because I guarantee you, rap. if you did, no. then you could vibe with Future's music. <laughs> well, 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 when you say fall in Old love, you mean fall in love like he falls in love in love. Like you fall in love while you're there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he falls in love like. Well, he's future, so he later. could so he could get it. Like that, that's why he ends up. You know, I'm just a regular nigga, but so I gotta you know. The difference between the '96. Like we were, the, we were the soul of drug rappers. Like they today, right, they're, right, they're right, the right. do the drug rappers. So that's the real major difference between right now exactly. and then. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, nah, nah. I I love some, you know, some drug rap back in the day. I also Classic. I also loved Mos Def, Common, Fire, The Roots. What's moving that part of the culture forward? Anyone? Jog? The Roots. These what, old Jay niggas. Cole, Kendrick. That, I guess if you got right. insomnia, who's a, who's if you new, got insomnia, you can listen to the Roots. Who's, uh, who's a who's a new version of the Roots? Ain't Who's no more Earth Roots. Gang, right? Move forward. Move. It ain't, it, it ain't they time no more. Uh, well, we need a we need some a new version you of look, that vibe. Why? That why do we need that? Why? To, why? To, to to round everything out. To have a you got to be in Corday. <laughs> it's another guy whose album I need to listen to. That's a fact. <sighs> it just, Blue. You know, it's, what's his name? Blue. 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 Yo, you said Blue had the best album this year? J.I.D., you got a couple guys. You really think that? So you think Blue had the best album of this no, year? No, I didn't say that. that. He said that. What do you, like, Can we talk about... You yeah, said you Boogie. Was album Boogie, 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 Boogie. Oh, Boogie. Oh, Boogie. My bad. Boogie. Really? Boogie? Yes. All right. Boogie, maybe, Boogie's uh, up there. Still. Maybe something to say for the next episode or the one after. I don't know. Yeah. Remind me of Kendrick when I listen to him, but I got to listen to it again. Listen, my my point is... Um, thematically. Oh, here we go. <laughs> thematically, <laughs> the purest right. of the, the, like the 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 myriad of themes that we had at one point in time, maybe ten years or fifteen years ago, even ten years ago. I don't feel like we have that outside of Kendrick and Cole. That's about it. Right in the in the forefront. I'm talking about in the forefront. There's obviously like, you know. Uh, a, a plethora of artists that that do their thing and have their message and tell their story, but I'm talking about in the forefront, right? So that's why um, I, I I dig a little deeper and I find artists that are no, no, gonna- no, no, no. You judge this new era. You scoff at the new era. You and people of your ilk and your demo scoff at everything, and, and because it doesn't reach your scale of hip hop and what you believe it should be, it's not hip hop. I, I remember when you said trap wasn't hip hop. I one hundred percent agree. One hundred percent. You I guys agree. are the problem. Yes. Flame on. You all the rap fans are the issue with hip hop because you cross the division. For, Y'all agree. are the problem. Agree, agree, agree. I'm attacking sincere. To... <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's a little flustered right now. He doesn't Listen, know what to say. Man, I'm coming for you, I'm, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> not... you in the group chat. I'm coming for you. I've had oh several. I've had several conversations. <laughs> with people oh, younger than me quite a bit younger than me mm-hmm. son included that yeah that will say hip hop and trap are two different things uh. they will say that is that true sin like who have you talked to people cuz i think that I mean, matters if you if you rec- if you classify it as mumble rap i guess you would kind of separate it from hip hop i guess right if you classify it I feel as, like as mumble rap, genres in and of themselves are problematic. So, like, yeah, if you want to say that trap is different from hip hop, well, then yeah, you could say that about like hip hop and I don't know, like New Jack Swing or right, uh, you know, Chop and Screw, uh, whatever that came out of Houston. It all correlates in some way, but it's all no, it, it all comes a, from the culture, man. Complete, like we should we should respect all of it. No, no, that's all I'm saying. On a complete tangent, uh, I I was uh like just. Going through the um, Run DMC discography one day because mm-hmm. you know we're all, we're all doing the the you know the Instagram top ten albums. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> that was amazing. Yo, really, bro? That was official. Bravo, I hate you, Jarvis. Bravo, I hate you. Jarvis. That was clean. Run DMC, bro. Run DMC. What were you saying? What were you saying? Anyway, nah, they they had an album in 1990 that I like for whatever reason Who? I was completely un, unaware Back of. Back to business. Who? Run Run DMC. Run DMC. Oh, I'm thinking EPMD. You're, I'm you're sorry. thinking EPMD. Yeah, yeah. But Run DMC had an album in 1990, and I listened to it, and I like I was back in those days. I was I was completely unaware of it. I thought they came back in '93, uh, and it sounded like all the new jack swing of that era, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. "What are they yeah. 
queen. Yes. That's what yo, I made this Selling point earlier in the show. You can't separate music from the moment that it's released. Like that's part that's of That's a fact, but it's yeah. still trash. I, yeah, I I'm agree. gonna go back I agree. and listen to that nineteen ninety album. Yeah. And say it's trash. I'm I'm gonna, I'm I'm no yeah, we'll find that in the periodic right? I'm going to ask you this question, I think in the first like three well, episodes. Who who whose album did you buy this year? Buy? buy. 2019. <sighs> nobody. I don't know, man. No, I didn't buy nobody. Is tight, bro. Question two. Who, whose show are you going to this year? You going to Boogies? Well, we all you know we all patronize a certain artist who we all love him. He was at Pusha T show. Yeah, the push but, but the little, the push little dude, fans. the little dudes who go to them shows, they like that. They love that and they're willing to pay for that. He'd go That's to a Cardi B show though. And they, <laughs> You're going to hell, but <laughs> but um yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna as, as much as it's to us, it's a culture, but now it's just a business now, bro. Fact. It's, it's been that way though, bro. But no, it's like really a business yeah, now. Now there's sure, way more sure. money in it. There's more money in it now than there's ever been. Hip hop is corporate. It's not yeah. like how it was before no, though. It's but not, yeah. this is, like, thank no, you, thank also, you, no, on some real shit though, like. Um, I was, we was at, outside. I was just. <laughs> we was outside. I was no just, crates. I was you wasn't thinking, in the gym. You wasn't there, Lois. You weren't. I was there. just thinking about this the other day, um, and and it's it's interesting because like if you are in the forty yeah and up uh, class, yeah, hip hop audience forty one. Okay. Yeah, and so um, but you you basically grew up. With, you're basically the same age as hip hop, right? True. You know what I mean. So yeah. that that yeah, makes yeah, a yeah. big difference. Okay. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I mean? So like when you like, I was in a, in my adolescence when hip hop was in its adolescence. So would you say you feel like you have more of a responsibility to, to uphold certain things because you were there for the entire scope? Um, <laughs> and I'm being serious now. I'm yeah, being serious. That's a good question. But, I just can't help but laugh. No. <laughs> but 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 I'd be disingenuous to say I was there for the entire scope because in the '80s mm. I would like. I, I, we talked about this in the in uh, when I guessed it on the gray, oh, the gray area, area. Yeah. right? Um, in the eighties, outside of like Run DMC mm-hmm. and French Fresh Prince and uh, you know uh, Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, right. um, I, I I wasn't really in the culture because I was at home and my parents were like super strict, super overprotective, um, and so yeah, so it wasn't until I got into high school okay. in 1992. My my boy uh, Sam, shout out to Sam, my friend Sam from high school. Shout out to the homie. Yeah, Sam. Um, he he let me hold the Red Man. Uh, what the what the album? Mm-hmm. Right. Is that the album that that, that I posted? You? Yeah, with the with the red hand. Hopefully, we can have a little f- small segment about that, but before the show's up. About the, uh, the albums that affected us. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. I agree. That's what you said. Uh, that yeah, that would be good. Um, but I remember, like, I remember him handing me the cassette. No, matter of fact, yeah, he handed me the cassette with the case, and I was like, "Yo, just let me get the cassette." And it was like, "Yo, you don't want to take the case?" Like, it's like, "Nah, I can't, I can't show up in my house with this case." Like, was, that, was, that, parents, was that your best <laughs> handoff? Parents, was that your best handoff someone ever gave you as far as music? I yeah, I think so. Yeah, because that changed that should change my life. Yeah, best handoff for me, I think, was um DJ Clue, the professional. A part one or part two? Part one. The opposite for me was getting in trouble for bringing home Little Kim's that first album. With the, with, the, uh, with, the, with, the spread, with the low, with the low key spread eagle, ah, yeah. And, and I lied about it, and then my yeah. mom, my mom's decided to do recon, and I got in so much trouble with carry on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that, that was my point. So like in '92, like that album changed my life. I was like, yo, what is this? You know what I mean? It's like it's like that. What what is this moment? And right. wanting more of it, right? But you don't think that young dudes are having that same feeling that we had? It's just a different sound. It's. The different sound I, I get if I don't like it I get it, but it's just it's the the feeling of like I don't know having a secret like like the, the your man's handing you a tape right and it was like a, nobody else knows I about not, it. not not necessarily with the Red Man album but like again watching the the uh, the Wu Tang series right. when Wu Tang uh, like started popping on the scene or like the 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 ascent to the to them getting on the scene uh it was just a hand in hand of the tape like True. the tape was just like sort of like well, we well beyond that bro. Uh, of course we are but like yeah. there's a there's some you know kids I mean? there's some kids dad 
he, he, he was afraid to take like an Uzi mixtape into his house. Because he feels like if my dad sees this guy in the cover, he's going to be like, you're not listening to this dude's music. So it's kind of the same thing, but oh, different than what you went through. You know what you saying? became your parents, bro. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. Did you see the Uzi with the shoulders? Well, I mean, if you saw, you, you got, your son is, you know, we all know him. He's a, yeah, you know, he's a big kid now. A, a very intelligent, Shout very bright Johnny. young man. He's been birthed Johnny. in the trap era. Like, trap is, his, is in his era. In, right. Yeah, that's a fact. So you don't, Poo poo him for like you know listening to Lil Uzi, do you? Um, well, Trippy Red's got to be like in a his boogie. in his realm. Like, no, right? he likes a boogie. He likes a boogie a lot. We, don't we all like a boogie? A boogie makes heat. He's alright. Um, wow. He has moments. He has moments. He has moments. Swerving. I um, love a boogie. Where these niggas at? I got the yeah. <laughs> six nine. Free him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's. Um, hey, that's- <laughs> yeah. That's that's that might be over the line. He never said that. He never said that. Um a, but no, I like, like I you know <laughs> we we've had uh music conversations. I was just, yo, I was just in uh, in uh in his room with him yesterday. Mm-hmm. Usually like when he's in his room he's like yo just like, he's 18. Like, Get out. Like, yo, like, yo let, like, me, vibe, let, me, let me vibe. Give me to my life, man. Um but but I was up in there because he, he was like, yo, dad, like I, I want to make a beat. Mm. Oh, oh shit! Oh, so he, was, he, spoke, yeah. he spoke your language. He spoke, He was like, I'm in there. You let me know what you you know what you're trying to do. Um, it's a good way to start it off. I didn't, yeah. notice, I didn't even notice this part of the beat, by the way. Uh, Carry on, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, me and Dini already started it's writing the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we mentally locked in. Proceed, yeah. brother. Um, but yeah, so like, um, so yesterday when you hit me up, that's mm-hmm. why I was, I was like, nah, like I'm doing, because I thought he wanted me to make a beat for him. He was right. like, no, show me how to do it. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, so like, so so yeah, like we we've had, to his room got all this shit. We <laughs> <laughs> we we've had those music conversations. You know what I mean? Like I've introduced him to Nas. Like he you know he digs him, but he's like you know it sounds a little too old for me. Yeah, he, he probably would love Jay Z though. Um, I don't know. Right now, he, like he, he, <laughs> Yo, he I wish to, you guys could see the look on Jarvis's face right now. <laughs> he introduced me to an artist called Lil Tecca. Yeah, uh, never heard of him. Yeah, I Solid. had him until yesterday. Um, you know, he's like Logic. He's like Triple X. I like Triple X. I don't want to be alive. <laughs> Every time I listen to that. I don't know how this happened because Triple X feels like somebody that like I should hate. I don't hate Triple X. Job is the only one that hates Triple X at this table. Yeah, Everybody you don't else hates Triple X. Nice, do you do? I avoid all his music like the plague. It Why? comes on, I turn the station. I have none of his music in my phone. I don't care for Triple X. I'm sorry. Right. I'm well, cool. You how, how you just banging it on the whole artist while listening to nothing? Uh, I though. never liked this vibe, bro. <laughs> R.I.P. It <laughs> all. R.I.P. Triple X. Well, I is to nothing? No- but I just never liked his vibe. I didn't like his energy. Listen I didn't like nothing music, about him. Though. I just didn't like him, bro. Listen to the tunes, I'm though. I'm cool, bro. <laughs> wow. I'm cool on Triple X. I'm all not right. buying it. Carry all on, right. sir. All right, old man. Hey, it is what it is. You've been going to the store. You're not buying it. just called an old man. Nah, I just never liked him. I didn't like what he was selling when he was alive. R.I.P. Like, I didn't like his... I didn't like his energy, bro. But you, like, be honest. But you like Six Nines energy. Alright then. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Joe. I like Six Nines energy. Trayway. I love. I always loved them. Before OP. we knew Six Nine was a snitch, I enjoyed. Oh, not. I enjoyed all the Brooklyn. Uh, he's in a snitch. Everybody now now he can't fuck with him. him. Right. But we don't, we don't acknowledge Six Nine. Nine. Yeah. I enjoyed all the show. Oh, yeah, me and you both. But I didn't like the emo, suicidal, devil worshiping shits at Triple X was on. I'm sorry. I'm just. I just wasn't for it. I, I kind of like that. Got the <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> The dude who made that song, I forgot his name, and he was talking about like having like like kind of crazy thoughts. I forgot what his name was. Right BMX now. used to be on a little, you know, like little satanic. Shit. That's little cool. Bit, I was a Jay Z fan. Yo, job. You talking about a uh, little TJ? Maybe. No, no, no. His, his, his name escapes me right now. It's fine. Uh, but um, I just don't like if you want that devil worshiping ex super gothic shit. It's not for job. You right. know. I fuck with it. Right. Where we at? So okay. <laughs> You, you, what, you I'm good? still going? Oh, no, 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 I'm done. I'm it's, done. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we've gotten to the point where a segment that that's become relatively popular amongst us at oh, the yeah. round table. It's my favorite part. Yes. The mailbag. Um, yeah. we we had a segment that went a little, little viral, a little virality. <laughs> Yo. 
the Young MA segment. We got a lot of feedback. Shout out oh, to Jarv. You know how to get feedback. the people involved. You know, everybody has a role to play here. I try to I try to upset people enough to get them to talk to us. Word up. You know. We you know, shout out to Manny too. We gotta give Manny his credit. Shout out to Manny. He's he, a uh, good Twitter Manny. follow. Yeah, you, you should follow him on Twitter. Emmanuel Brown was like He felt that That young M.A. Was the most talented Female artist ever I hopped on a wave with him And then Next thing you know People are attacking us In the comment section nah, but about, you did it on wax bro I did it on wax dude did it on You're Twitter right. Y'all jumped up you right. the window Because you know what I agree with Manny I think that M.A. is the most talented Do you ever. really or, yes. Were you trolling Or do you really Because I, I Jarv You know I okay. respect you bro But he, I wonder if you were just trolling for attention. Dude. Well, people have asked me, like, yo, does he really feel like And I'm just like, no, he's, he's bugging. See, yeah, you know, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Because you know what? Put it this way. I agree with Manny, and I'm willing to die on that hill. I'll stay there. Right, but there I'm not, if he dies, we'll, he we'll dies. We'll talk about the minutia of that topic <laughs> off wax. Okay? No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. You feel sure what I'm will. saying? But some people didn't like that, you know. I, I sent Lang because Lang wanted to get on the, the mailbag I, I action, but I'm gonna start first with a Facebook comment because we got so many comments. I didn't know what to choose. We had so many comments, so we had a person Anthony Woods. I don't know where he's from. Whatever on Facebook, okay. he says she's not the best ever. You got some lyrical ass female artists out there who who rap circles around her, but she rap about nigga shit. That being said, she she, she be she be rapping <laughs> about nigga shit. I can consider her a part of. The, I can't consider her part of the female category. Wow. Uh, I'd like to address that because uh, it, it's something that we didn't address in the last episode. We kind of did. Sin attacked me, and he said, <laughs> "No, but you, you like girls that rap like dudes, right?" And it's a f- look, look. She's a woman. Okay. Um, she's not a woman. In the traditional sense, in the- <laughs> you know, like I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. Come on, son. You know, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. No, I, listen, I I love Young and Man. The um, fuck are you talking about? You guys know what I'm talking. about. In the traditional sense. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I mean, I fucked with you. you. You're the fucking. Uh, stay, stay on, stay on time, stay on time. Um, but yeah, the fact that she is this, uh. I'll use the term this butch lesbian. Oh, oh my Yo, god. Yo, bro, oh get this man a shovel, god. bro. Well, like, hold on, let me finish. Like, you know, she's she's gonna be judged on a different um on a different scale than other female artists. Right. Like, right. Is that such a hot take? I, I don't is, think is it's Butch take, problematic? I, think, I don't think Butch I think, is problematic. I think in 2019, I didn't mean to offend nobody. Butch is a little problematic. Be like, I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to offend nobody. Yo, I'm the wokest <laughs> of the rap round table. I think y'all <laughs> motherfuckers know. Nah, I, I, honestly. I, I, but, all right, one sentence. Um, Young and May is clearly uh, judged, or some would argue should be judged on a different rubric, right? right. Because... Although she is a female rapper, she's not rapping about the same things. Right, right. Is is basically what I'm trying to say. I mean, Sincere, what do you think about that? I mean, she basically raps like she got a dick. You know what I mean? She does. Yeah. So, what? Come on, son. Come on, son. <laughs> she does. That's what, right. that's the energy. Right. She got big dick energy. So bro. you agree like, with the commenter that I, she I, rap about nigga shit? I do. Yeah! I said it. I said it in the last okay. part. Okay, Dini. I'm sorry. I'm just I think we know where Dini falls on this. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yo, I mean, that, that's her wave. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's she was in. So I'm sorry to interrupt you, but she was in an interview. She was trying to pull up on the chick that was interviewing her. She was like, "Yo, what you trying to do?" I like them tatted bitches. Hi, Kalani. Yo, I gotta show y'all the video. She's Bang. a savage, bro. Anyway. What? What? The, what? The next mailbag piece, Langston. <laughs> All right. So me you know, and Joe, we, we're just gonna out. move on for this one. Savage All right. mode. Shovel. Um, this is uh by ISO the. I don't and know. this is uh, directly as sincere. At me? Yeah. What did uh, I do? Well, just listen, <laughs> just listen, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> the problem today, what people fail to understand, is the difference between lyrics and songs. Young Young and May can flow and has lyrics, but to me, the song impact is not on the level of the female greats. There are levels to this, and people confuse artists who can just rap. With artists who can rap and make great songs, I think that's a pretty fair point, actually. 
yeah. Where, how was that directed at? He me? added he, to he, bro. He added you on Instagram. He, he added me. Sincere eight one nine. He was Yo, talking to you. You got you. It, listen, whoever you. He are, wanted your opinion. Oh, you wanted my opinion. Yeah. What did you think? It's something, no, something, it's something he's confusing me, I thought, him with. Yeah, I, think, I think you're. Huh? It's something he's confusing you with. with That's what I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. It was sincere. He added sin. I don't know why he added sin, but right. sin was the sin she was. Keep, keep us straight. Well, I saw whatever the fucking name is. I, she the best. I am sincere. And I'm the fire. <laughs> this is Jaws. <laughs> I yeah. disagree with everything you said. She has fire <laughs> songs. She got bars. She the best thing female hip hop has she ever produced. Bars. Guys, uh, um, I, I didn't listen to the album the last episode. I have. Takes. Talk to us. It was fucking fire. Oh, I, I loved it. Oh, better, oh, better, than <laughs> better than the babies? Not better than the babies. Oh, okay. close. Carry on, sir. But no, but uh. I feel like you guys overplayed the, the the idea that she was like talk she was being introspective. Oh, and no. she talked about pussy. No, we said Which that. I, I, we said there was moments of introspection, but there were. but I also said that she, what we got from her is that she's a girl who likes fat asses and likes right. weed. We said that. And I'm totally cool with that. You like, know, and, yeah. yeah. You know, come on, come it's on a dope now. Album. You yeah. trying to you trying to attack us. You feel attacked. Anyway, All I, right. don't, I don't I don't disagree with anything in, in that point. Okay. At all. Um, and then the last piece is from Brian Johnson. I guess he was talking to the rest of y'all while I was defending <laughs> Young and Man. He says, nobody listening to them no more. Who can you compare her to that's rapping right now, though? So anyone could take that. What? She's been, he who? said, nobody's listening to them no more. Meaning, the people that y'all named in defense of my take that she's the nicest. Uh, he yeah. said, who can you compare, like, who can you. You compare her to that's <laughs> rapping right now? That, Rhapsody, I think that's maybe? A, that's a fair point. I don't know, man. When I listen to that first song on the Rhapsody drum, I listen to Nina, I'm like, ugh. That's, yeah, that's I, a I tough, mean, Rhapsody that's a comes to battle, mind. battle, man. Rhapsody got bars. Um, she not fucking with M.A., though. Yeah, I think she would roast M.A. I love M.A., but that was a Rhapsody, slow sizzle. That means she, if y'all stay awake long enough to, to make wow. it through, you know. You listen, See, you listen to Rhapsody's album? I mean, you album? say that now, but if she dropped the M.A. diss track. He hates Rhapsody. Look at his face. <laughs> no, 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 I love Rhapsody, but Sin, Sin's reactions are what I live for. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, who else? Uh, I mean... Who who's in the in the female the female field Remy, has Hardy in the Nikki but let's be real in the in the past year because at the beginning yeah. of the year we were talking about how the the, the field of female MCs is kind of narrow yeah. it's now expanded it's, it's expanded yeah. quite a bit For in sure. terms of like females that are getting uh, or women I say women that are getting uh, you know a little bit more attention um, I don't know Megan yeah. Megan's I, in that talk. I like Young and May better than Megan, bro. I so do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Thank you, hey, next. Girl. Shout but, out to Meg. Don't, 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 don't listen to Deanie, Megan. But listen it's to the job. Hey, but to, to, um, to that last guy's point, you know what I mean? I am a can can rhyme, and no, 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 no. she's nice. She's nice. No, I'm just saying she can rhyme. She got skills. She's nice. Okay. But in terms of like making a song. She can that, do that too. Who, who, Megan? No, no, no. M.A. M.A., oh, bro. Because, right. because Megan, Ma- Megan, Megan got that song with Nicki. She can make a song. That that gimmick song. I, I'll well, admit it. It's very cheesy. It yeah, is what it is. Yeah, but it, you it, know, it's it getting does what it's supposed to do. It does what it's supposed to do. That shit came out mad late. I don't know. But I'll rock yeah. out to M.A. She wasted the that one. Summer. Petty Wap. Better than all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Big Riz. That's fire too. You know, I'm on Team MA. For a change, I'm on a nice rapper side. You know, usually, usually I gotta hit people with she can rap or he can rap to sell. I don't, got, I don't gotta sell MA. She nice. She made a fire album. Yeah, you just compared it to the all time shit. She better than all of them. That, that's the shit that made it different. That's not. It's, it's, like, yeah, it's not my fault that the forty and up crowd be overrating these these legends. Wow. You know, MA better than all of them. It is what it is. You know, <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you? <laughs> <laughs> what did you What did you grade the album on, Lang? Uh, well, I, I graded her higher than I did the actual album. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like three out of five? You think? The album? Yeah, yeah, like uh, I think about three out of five. Three out of five. That's fair. That's fair. But right. I, I I agree with the take you had on the last episode that she could 
she's capable of putting out a way oh, yeah. better album. Oh, yeah. She's close. Yeah. She's super close. I agree. All right, folks. Mailbag segment is in the books. We are at the point of the episode where, you know, after I fully ran it on Sincere, now I have to, <laughs> you know, clear the premises before the cops come. So this this is the point of the episode where Sincere the Rap Snob asks you to... Get off my lawn. Sincere... The floor is yours. All right. Um, so this segment of Get Off My Lawn is not necessarily uh, pointed at the younger demographic. It's pointed at who, who, if, you're, if the shoe fits, mm-hmm. you're going to wear it. Mm. Right? Um, now this. So, right. <laughs> So, uh, so we're you know we're all we're all doing this you know um, this viral challenge that's going around, which I don't usually fuck with challenges, uh, just because I, I think for the most part they're kind of dumb. But this one is right up my alley. Ten albums, ten impactful albums in right. ten days. Right, we're all doing it. Right, um, and uh, and I happen to see one of yours's albums. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I know here you're coming for Dini right now, right? And um, <laughs> free smoke. Listen, free man. Free smoke. I'm a, look. I'm gonna need who, whoever, whoever's trying to rewrite history. Oh no. God, needs to stop. And if you're 20, stop. If you're 30, stop. If you're pushing 40, stop. You better not whatever, be about Illmatic. Whatever, whatever, Ill-Matic. whatever, no, whatever no, no, age, no, no. whatever age you are, just let let shit be what it was. Stop trying to go back. And, and, and rewrite history, and, and what what's the term? Um, revisionist history. Re- revisionist history, right? Um, Bone Thugs and Harmony album, man. Uh, bro. You are what? Allen, bro. I just I look. I East nineteen ninety nine internal. I just got off a Twitter conversation. Uh, uh, shout out to Kill on Twitter. Um, that he just made the same point. All of a sudden. Because I, I, what I assume is because of the uh, the mumble rap era, all of a sudden we we holding up this uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I, I, I spoke on this culture. a thousand years ago, bro. That's no, my fit. who whoever heard Dini talk about Bone Thugs and Harmony? When are we, that, when are we ever talked about Bone fan. Thugs and Harmony as a fan. conversation, bro? Dini, you, you should had bring it up. So many arguments about rap, and you never once mentioned. So Dini goes and verses. We don't got. We can do this on air, off air, bro. It's like what so. Dini goes and posts this bone thugs, and, I, and I'm just. It just culminates this. And thing. albums in ten days, he picks bone thugs. Yo, yes, and, I, and it's I'm very like, impactful album for me as a kid. <laughs> so the fuck are you talking to, about? To me, it culminates this feeling that I've had for a while because, like, in in comment sections and on Twitter, okay. uh, and, and people throwing out bone thugs and harmony, bone thugs East East 1999. They made I'm like, fire. when? 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 When was this album? Like, bro, they're from Cleveland, bro. It wasn't hitting over here, probably. But to, I, when I heard it, I loved it, bro. The yeah, fuck are you talking about? Get off my lawn, man. You never listened to the Art of War album? Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn, man. Hey, bro, I can't convince listen, you. Gotta listen to the music. Stop, listen. Since it was not a fan of Bone Thugs. He's not, buy, he's not buying I'm not, it. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying this revisionist cla- history cla- classic, that Bone Thugs classic and Harmony song, Classic was song one with, of the, um, with Biggie. Classic song with Tupac. Listen, one of maybe like eight people alive that can actually say that shit. There's a lot of classic shit like from the 90s. Uh, East Coast, West Coast, Down South. Uh, but Bone Thugs How and many Harmony, number one come singles? on, man. But, um, um, Crossroads is an all-time classic. First of the month is an all-time classic. Um, Art of War. You're talking about singles. Art, Art of War, um, um, the one that had um, Look Into My Eyes. Look into my bro, like they eyes got joints, and tell bro. Stop me it, bro. what it is Stop you it, see. With the revisionist I, I, I tend to agree with Dini. Like, like, I feel like nice. we had the, the revisionist the history was y'all nice. shit no more. Years of rap discussions with, with this guy, Dini. And he never once mentioned Bone Thugs. Until like a until month like ago. a month ago. Stop. <laughs> Stop, bro! I have, we I, all worked in the same building. Bro, I have, I have, you I have one. Thank God, I have people that can corroborate my story, bro. I know you're a Nas fan. Get I know the you fuck out of here. Jada, love Jada. I know you fucks with Wu Tang. Fucks with Wu Tang. I know you love Ho. Bro, I, you you right, but I love Bone Thugs, bro. Since Last when? week, nigga. Like I'm what the bro, my whole high school run. That's what I listen to with me and my bros. Stop, stop Yo, it, bro. Yo, bro, I got people to corroborate my story, Stop bro. it. <laughs> it's, it's all good. 
Yo, E Diggity, shout out to you. Tell them the Gabriel, shout out to you. Tell them the Pen Dog, shout out to you. Tell them the the comment on the vibes and support your your, your backup. We got buying it. We we know the the vibes. You You need more people. MW, you know the vibes. All the revisionists. Get off I, of my The food. fuck are you talking about? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, talking about? Show, the I'm fuck, fuck are you talking about? These dudes. I'm going to spit some verses. You don't want to spit verses. You could have memorized them a month ago. We don't care. I could have memorized <laughs> Bone <laughs> Thug verses a month ago. You listen to those dudes. You're a rapper. <laughs> you're a rapper. <laughs> so you're a rapper. Bro. You're a rapper. 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 you Oh my All right, goodness. ladies and gentlemen, we are at the point of the episode where, you know, we, we bring this joy ride to an end. I'm sure you guys enjoyed this time with us. A lot of laughs, a lot of humor, new new venue, same vibe, same energy, right? It's a fact. Um, real quick, we're bringing the year 2019 to a close with, with our year in review of 2019. That's right. don't, don't get concerned. We won't rehash too much. We'll talk about the new stuff, but we got to talk about the stuff that happened in the past year. Word up. So, get you know. Our, get our mad skills on. Oh, yeah. Play, <laughs> playlist <laughs> of Murder. Murder. Shout out to Sincere, the playlist. Oh, and Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder. Oh, yeah. Playlists are coming soon. Year end vibes coming soon. We got we got a special thing from Sincere coming soon, boys. We, we, you know, we moving. And at, this, and at this point, I get out the way and I let the thirsty degenerate, Langston Leguizamo, Close take us out. home. Yeah, so here I go. Uh, so first of all, the Thirsty Degenerate podcast is coming back. We've had some yes. talks. Um, I know a lot of y'all that listen to the Rat Roundtable listen to that podcast. So just hang on tight. It might be a month or two, but we're definitely coming back on behalf of... My man Jav, the Gray Area Podcast is back, and he's been spitting fire. You know Javi, make sure you follow him on on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook and all that other social media because he has you have these great uh, these great takes on football that are hilarious. I'm trying, bro. I'm follow trying. him everywhere but in the streets. <laughs> uh, for the rap snob, sincere. I make beats holla at me. And uh, Dini, the balance of the force. <laughs> We Yo, man, here. we are the Rap Round Table. We love our listeners. Thank you so much for love. supporting the show. But like we said at the top, you support us by listening. We love you. If you support us by listening and sharing, we'll love you forever. We out. Thank you.